He came in on a high after a landslide win in the 2019 general election. But Boris Johnson's exit from Downing Street was tinged with bitterness after being ousted by his own MPs. Early on Tuesday morning, he gave his final speech. And in traditional Johnson style, he parted with some unusual references and the hint that this might not be the last we see of him. Well, this is, this is it, folks. The baton will be handed over in what has unexpectedly turned out to be a relay race. They changed the rules halfway through, but never mind that now. Let me say that I am now like one of those booster rockets that has fulfilled its function. Like Cincinnatus, I am returning to my plough. After bidding farewell to their number 10 staff, he and Carrie were whisked away to RAF Northolt and put on a plane to Aberdeen. The outgoing Prime Minister had to travel to Balmoral to officially give the Queen his resignation, as the 96-year-old monarch has recently suffered mobility issues and was unable to return to Buckingham Palace. Johnson was followed shortly by his successor, who travelled separately for security reasons. Insiders say Truss has always had high ambitions. And after the kissing hand ceremony was complete, her vision was realised. Once she was back at number 10, we got a glimpse of what's to come under her premiership. Now is the time to tackle the issues that are holding Britain back. We need to build roads, homes and broadband faster. We need more investment and great jobs in every town and city across our country. We need to reduce the burden on families and help people get on in life. We shouldn't be daunted by the challenges we face. I am confident that together we can ride out the storm. The public's reaction to the announcement of the UK's 56th Prime Minister has been mixed. Some are hopeful she is the change the country needs, while others feel it's time the people had their say. It needs a breath of fresh air. Hopefully she'll bring that, a new team, a new start, but it's going to be a challenging job. She says she's going to deliver, 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 but we will um, see, and hopefully the next few weeks um, there'll be some announcements which will help the normal working person. So, so they've changed quite, quite, quite frequently, really, in a short period of time. So I think it's time now to have a general election. We will have to wait and see whether the Prime Minister will deliver. But for now, Truss has disappeared behind the door of number 10 with her husband Hugh O'Leary and is getting on with appointing her first cabinet.